Hi all, my name is Marco Mancini and I am a Cloud Technical Evangelist at Open Nebula. I would like to thank the organizers and uh, for this opportunity and uh, for this uh, talk. Uh, today, I will speak about provisioning and managing uh, infrastructure resources to deploy multiplayer game servers on the edge. The point is that in order to satisfy low latency requirements for multiplayer games, it is necessary to deploy resources, game servers, that are geographically in close proximity to the gamers. Uh, we will look at Open Nebula edge computing features and also at the recent integration of Firecracker and the Docker Hub for orchestrating containers. And we are going to deploy and manage Kubernetes clusters based on uh, K3S, the lightweight distribution built for IoT and the edge by uh, Ranger. And then on top of Kubernetes cluster on the edge, we can deploy the Agones OpenSUSE platform for multiplayer games and game servers. So first, let me introduce briefly uh, Open Nebula. Uh, Open Nebula is a simple open source solution to build and manage enterprise clouds that combines existing virtualization technologies with advanced, advanced features for multi-tenancy, automatic provision and elasticity in order to offer on-demand virtualized services and application. Open Nebula integrates multiple type of virtualization technologies to meet different workloads and needs. So it integrates VMware and KVM virtual machine for fully virtualized clouds, LXD system containers and uh, Firecracker micro VMs for serverless uh, deployments. Open Nebula provides Sandstone, that is a graphical user interface for both end users and administrator, and simplifies the management of all Open Nebula resources and operations on them. Open Nebula is integrated with third party tools like Terraform, Docker Hub, Ansible, and Kubernetes. How is Open Nebula used? Open Nebula gives the opportunity to build a true hybrid, a multi-cloud platform by combining edge, public, hosted, and private cloud operations. So it helps organization to easily embrace hybrid and edge computing, allowing them to grow the enterprise cloud on demand. So with infrastructure resources from third party public cloud and bare metal providers, such as Amazon Web Service, Microsoft Azure, and Equinix Meta. So Open Nebula provides one uniform environment that allows to manage and perform operations or resources that are on-premise, hosted, or on the edge. And then by providing a marketplace with the pre-built appliance and also the recent Docker Hub integration as a marketplace, Open Nebula will facilitate the deployment and management of applications that can run on any infrastructure, can be on-premise or on the edge, and can be appliances based on virtual machine or containerized applications are as a micro VM. So let me introduce One Edge, that is an Open Nebula project and initiative supported by the European Commission under the Horizon 2020 program. And uh, this initiative is developing innovative features and, uh, and the objective is to create the first open source edge computing platform to bring private cloud computing to the edge. So you can also check the website oneedge.io for further information. And this project is built on, uh, on Open Nebula. So in our part to expand open source cloud computing to the edge, we take an opportunistic approach for uh, node provisioning um, by taking advantage of already available resources that are offered by third party bare metal providers. Uh, such uh, as I said, Amazon Web Service, Equinix Metal, and Microsoft Azure. We are also part of Gaia X project, that is a federated cloud infrastructure in Europe. And we are going to incorporate also those resources in the provider edge catalog that will be a feature for next uh, year. So, in this way, companies can easily create and manage their own edge environments and without having to provide or own those underlying resources. So once the edge physical node for uh, existing bare metal cloud providers are provisioned, Open Nebula will allow to deploy in software form the other infrastructure components that are needed on the edge. 
so such as uh, software-defined networking, virtual network functions, uh, software-defined storage, and finally, virtual machine and containerized uh, application. Now, in order to deploy a fully oper uh, operational Open Nebula cluster in a remote provider, uh, we have built uh, a tool, one provision, and uh, each new provision is described by a template, a YAML document, that specifies the Open Nebula resources to what. So clusters, hosts, uh, data stores, virtual networks, so physical resources to provision from the remote infrastructure provider. Then you can also specify the connection parameters, for example, for SSH, and the configuration steps as a playbook. And then once the template is prepared, is prepared, it will be validated and will be used to create a new Open Nebula cluster as a remote provider uh, resources. Uh, okay, now let's move how containers are managed within uh, Open Nebula. So Open Nebula provides different ways to integrate containerized application. First, Open Nebula provides the Kubernetes appliance that is available from the Open Nebula marketplace, where you can create and deploy Kubernetes cluster. Every node is then managed by Open Nebula as a regular virtual machine, but Open Nebula doesn't manage containers or pods inside the Kubernetes cluster. And uh, the Kubernetes cluster just exposes the Kubernetes API so then you can access via kubectl or with uh, the, with a dashboard, but you can, also, you can use also the Open Nebula Docker machine driver for creating Kubernetes cluster by using uh, Ranger UI and uh, using Ranger, you can create pools of nodes based on uh, a node template that defines the parameters used to launch nodes in Open Nebula. Recently, with the latest release, uh, Firework, Open Nebula now provides a native model for the management and orchestration of containerized application. And this is based on the integration on the Firecracker and Docker Hub. So um, Open Nebula approach uh, so is going to integrate a Docker Hub as a new uh, native marketplace so that provides the user with immediate access to Docker image. So through this integration, Docker images can be easily imported into an Open Nebula cloud, uh, following a process that is similar to the way in which the Open Nebula public marketplace uh, operates for the appliances. And uh, the Open Nebula context packages are installed during this import process. So once the image is important, it becomes fully functional. So including auto IP configuration, SSH key management, and uh, for example, custom in, in its screen. So regarding Firecracker in this integra integration that is uh, in the latest release of Open Nebula, so Firecracker is, is an open source virtualization technologies that has been developed by Amazon Web Services that use uh, KVM to launch uh, lightweight virtual machines, so-called uh, micro VMs. So to have enhanced security, workload isolation, and the resource efficiency. So it is uh, widely used by uh, Amazon Web Services as part of uh, Fargate and Lambda Services. And uh, you can um, uh, quickly deploy applications as containers by using Firecracker in Open Nebula while keeping them in uh, secure isolation. And now with uh, this integration, Open Nebula provides now an innovative solution to the classic dilemma between using containers that are lighter but with weaker security or virtual machine with the strong security but high uh, overhead. Uh, now, for your cracker is uh, seamlessly integrated with the network stack, the storage uh, provided by Open Nebula. You can also create, so now you can create, uh, build, uh, and manage. Uh, a secure self-service multi-tenant cloud based on Firecracker uh, micro VMs for serverless uh, computing. Um, and also you can use uh, any technology, any stack in Open Nebula, like for example, OneFlow, that um, allow you to define and manage 
multi uh, multi VM applications as uh, single entities as a single uh, services and then with the one flow you can define dependencies you can define you can define auto scaling policies for the application components and that's why we can uh, thanks to this integration of a firecracker and docker hub uh, now the idea is to deploy, manage, and orchestrate Kubernetes clusters based on uh, K3S uh, as an alternative to the appliance that is already provided by Open Nebula uh, that is based on uh, a virtual machine. So by using a K3S Docker image with, uh, within a Firecracker micro VMs and then by using one flow uh, service, we can deploy and orchestrate K3S clusters with uh, the server and the agent component um, on the edge or on premise uh, on any infrastructure that uh, is uh, um, that we are using you now in open level. So what is next for today? So we will uh, show now a demo uh, about these uh, technologies and we will start from an open nebula deployment with a central location that has only the front end component, one flow and one gate that are already deployed. So the first step is uh, going to show how to provision edge resources on Equinix Metal on the Amsterdam <coughs> facilities. Then we will show how to import the K3S uh, image from uh, Docker Hub, define Firecrack uh, micro VM templates uh, and define one flow services in order to deploy and orchestrate K3S clusters on the edge. And then we are going to deploy Agones, that is an open source platform developed by Google in collaboration with Ubisoft, Ubisoft on top of the distributed uh, platform Kubernetes. And um, after we deployed the, the Agones platform, we can proceed to deploy a game server for the Xonotic game. That is an open source first, per first person shooter game. And we will connect uh, it with uh, the, the client. So now let's start with the demo. So first of all, let me show you the dashboard of Sunstorm. So the graphical user interface of Open Nebula. As you can see, we don't have uh, defined any host, virtual networks, and so on. So here we just deployed the front end with the Sunstorm. Now, first let's uh, provision some resources on the edge by using uh, a packet, now Equinix Metal, per Metal Provider. So we are going to use the one provision tool. So here we can see that we don't have any cluster host defined. And then I have prepared a template. So we are going to use one provision, the create command in order to provision resources on uh, Equinix Metal. So this will take five, 10 minutes to provision all same clusters. So while it's doing the deployment, let me show you the, the template. So here we are going to use uh, a playbook uh, for Firecracker since the host that we are going to provision will use the Firecracker visualization technologies to instantiate micro VMs. Um, yeah, we specify the driver for packet, Equinix. Then you have to specify the project ID and the token ID, the facilities, as I said, we are going to deploy on Amsterdam facilities, MS1. So we can specify the type of instance and the operating system of the host. Uh, then we are going to deploy three data stores. Uh, one, uh, the default one will be used for the Docker images that will be imported in Open Nebula from Docker App. Then um, we have the system data store that is used for instantiating the micro VM and the files data store that will uh, be used to import the kernel that is needed uh, for uh, Firecracker. Uh, then we define a couple of networks, one private network and one public network. The public one will be IP from packet that will, uh, and we will use this uh, driver uh, to map the traffic that comes uh, from internet uh, to the internal uh, private uh, uh, 
networks and the private IP that has been assigned to the uh, micro VM. Okay, now let's go back to the Sunstone. So here we see that the, a new cluster has been defined and uh, a host is being provisioned. Um, so if you look at the data store, three new data store has been defined. And now let's uh, import the Docker image in the default uh, data store for the edge node on Amsterdam uh, facility. So we select uh, the data store and here we have to provide uh, a Docker URL for uh, the image. In this case, I'm using a custom image for Ranger K3S um, since uh, this uh, image will be enhanced with the contextualization package uh, of Open Nebula in order to assign the IP, for example, to the micro VM. So we have to build the custom one since the original one is not working with the contextualization package, uh, in, but we are looking into this. And then we can import in the files also the kernel that will be used by Firecracker. And uh, this kernel has been compiled with the Wixlan enabled uh, in the kernel. Okay. Uh, so we have to select uh, the data store and then we can create this. Okay. Once the two image has been defined, let's look at the templates for the micro VM. So for the uh, server, we have defined uh, a template where we can specify the memory, the number of uh, CPU, and then we can uh, use, uh, we can specify the image that is the Docker image that it will be imported. Uh, we can specify the networks, the private and the public as an alias for the private network. In the section uh, OS and CPU, we have to specify some uh, boot parameters for the kernel and the kernel that we are going to use. Uh, finally, in the context section, here there is the start script for the server. And I'm going, uh, I will explain this in a few moments. And then we set also some custom bars, for example, the host name to the K3S server. So let's look uh, also at the agent. So also in this case, we define the memory, the CPU, the number of CPU, and then we set uh, as a disk the image that is imported uh, uh, in the default, the Docker image that is being imported. Also, in this case, we can define the two networks for the micro VM. And uh, in this section, as always, the boot parameters and the kernel. In the context, there is a, another start script. This is different from the server, and I will show you in a bit. And in this case, uh, the host name is set to K3S agent, but we will use also the ID of the VM that is being assigned, that will be assigned when the micro VM is instantiated. So in order to have a different host name when we deploy a cluster of K3S. So once we have defined the two templates, one for the server and the other for the agent, we can use one flow to define a service for deploying a cluster. So let's call this service K3S cluster. So we define here the roles. So a role for the server, and we associate the template that we have defined. And then we have a role for the agent with his own template. Now, in this case, the agent will be deployed when the server will be running. Okay, so we have to check this uh, parent role. And uh, in order for uh, uh, to know when the VM is running in the sense that, for example, the application is started, we will use this uh, ready for one gate. So one gate is the metadata server of uh, Open Nebula. So now let me first uh, 
So once we create this cluster, we can uh, instantiate. We can uh, create the cluster, and now the cluster will be in a deploying state. Okay. So this is um, now to to instantiate to deploy first the server, as we said, and then when the server is ready, is going to deploy also the agent. So. Um, these are going to be deployed on the host. That, uh, meanwhile, we can see that one provision has finished the deployment. So now we have this cluster. So now the server and the agent will be deployed on these resources. Uh, okay, so let me show uh, the scripts for the server and the agent. So we are we are use one gate. So that now the service will get some, uh, we need some minutes in order for to run. So I will explain the start script of the server and the agent. So the server will use uh, one gate, as I said, is the metadata server, open Nebula, to get the private IP and the external IP, so the public IP. So uh, this will be used to set the options, uh, node IP, external IP, and the, that one for the uh, certificates. And then we can run the K3 server. And once the K3 server is run, is executed, we are going to wait for the token to be available. Once the token is available, what happens is that we use one gate to update the metadata of the server micro VM by putting uh, the, this key, a K3 token to the value of the token that is contained in the, the file. Uh, and then after we do this, we say to one gate that this uh, uh, VM is ready, this uh, micro VM is ready. And uh, so one flow will use this information then to start the deployment of the agent that uh, depends, that will be deployed when the server is ready. So if we look at the script of the agent, in this case we use one gate to get the server ID and the token from the uh, server and uh, the IP. So we can set the option for the server and we can set the option for the token. And then we get also the private IP and the public IP that is, has been assigned to the, to the micro VM. And we can set the K3S uh, options. And we can call the agent, and then we just say that uh, also this VM is uh, running. Uh, so let's go back to the Sandstone, and let's see what is the status. So here we can see that the server is uh, in running, and that also the agent is going to be deployed. That means that the server is uh, set ready equal to yes to one gate. So now let's. Uh, get the configuration file for uh, uh, k3s and uh, first let's check the public ip of the of the server so let's uh, copy the the configuration file for to use kubectl Okay, so first of all, we have to change also the public IP, the IP, sorry, in the configuration file, and now we can export the cube config. Now we can use uh, kubectl, and here we can see that the server is ready and uh, is internal, external IP has been set. So um, let's see for the agent. So let's see. Okay, now the agent also is running. So we need also some uh, to be ready, I think. So let's see. Yeah, you see also it got the local IP, the 
and the private IP in the public IP. So let's see if, uh, ah, okay, so now is uh, going to be uh, uh, deployed. So it's uh, connect, so we can see the private and the public IP. Now, in order to uh, proceed, we can uh, um, install uh, Agones to the uh, to this uh, cluster. So let's create first the namespace, and then we will uh, uh, create the. We will install Agonex. So let's check if. Um, it is running and creating. And uh, then we can uh, deploy the, the game server. Okay, so we are going to deploy the Exonotic the game server. And we can check uh, if the game server is going to be scheduled. Okay, so this will take a uh, few minutes because it is to pull the image since uh, it's not in the node. And meanwhile, I can show you. Uh, for example, how to use the scaling of um, one flow. So if we go on the service and we would like to deploy uh, more agents, we can, as I said, we, or we can use some uh, elastic policies based on performance matrix, or uh, uh, we can also do manually. So let's say we would like to have another agent. So here we can uh, set the number of uh, micro VMs that you would like uh, uh, to, to have, and we use scale. And now what is going to happen is that uh, this will change in a scaling state. And uh, also the state of the service will change to be scaling. And here we can see that another agent is going to be uh, deployed, okay? Um, so let's see if the, uh, in while the game server, now it's ready. So what we can do now is uh, running the Sonotic and client, and then we, we, we add the address and the port. So here, now we can add the address, this one. And then the, the port. And here, the client now is starting and also the game is uh, loading. And now you can see that we are now in uh, playing on this uh, game uh, game server of uh, Xonotic, okay? So let me uh, get uh, out of the game. And um, uh, here is uh, still uh, uh, Deploying. It's still deploying and uh, now it's uh, running. So uh, then you saw so you can scale, uh, uh, you can also decrease uh, one of the services also is uh, again in the, and now is in the cooldown state. So when it will go in the running state, you can perform another scaling operation. So this is uh, for uh, the demo. Now let's go back to the uh, to the presentation. So other few things. Uh, so you can uh, uh, look at uh, several resources. So we have screencast uh, articles and uh, a, a new white paper about age uh, with Open Nebula. Also, if you want to try Open Nebula, there is mini one. It allows you to easily install. Um, a single node 
with LXD, KVM, or Firecracker, but also to deploy uh, resources on the edge on uh, Equinix Metal uh, very easily. So it's a very nice tool for evaluation. And then you can try the latest release, a Firework, that uh, integrate Firecracker with uh, uh, Docker Hub. Uh, so, uh, thanks for your attention. These are, are our contacts, so you can write us, you can visit uh, our website, our forum, and uh, keep in touch with us. Now, if you have any question, I will answer to them. Thank you.